So why are some Luftwaffe radios considered to be so good and ahead of their time? Overall, that's not an easy question to answer, and some assumptions about which aspects of military radio communications were being evaluated would have to be examined in more detail first. In this short video, we take a quick look at just one aspect, the build standard. This is just a small segment from a longer video about Lorenz's Fuge 10 Luftwaffe radio system. In it, my friend Dieter Baikesch gives a full explanation of this, at the time, state-of-the-art system, using a fully restored and functioning model at his private collection in Germany. And he explains and demonstrates the strikingly compact nature of the system, and this alone is a big departure from radio communication systems that predated the Fuge 10 by just a few months. But he also shows off the modular design and the Lorentz quick replacement system. And it's this deep modular design philosophy that's worth looking at in a bit more detail. To make sure we understand the very real benefits of a technique that I think the casual modern viewer can all too easily mistake for the mere luxury of over-engineering. The Fuga 10 series used the very latest technology in the form of the new tough and reliable P2000 pentode tubes in all stages in the receiver. The patented Lorentz quick release system ensured that the Fuge 10 system's components could be replaced in the airframe in seconds. But the individual components themselves were also modular in design. The audio amplifier here, held in place by a couple of screws and alignment pins, just plugs in and in case of failure, can be swapped out in the airfield workshop with the minimum ground crew expertise. Although this made the system more complex to manufacture initially, it delivered many benefits down the line. The integrated design doesn't only exploit the latest in miniaturized tube technology. The design philosophy uses precise, high-pressure aluminium casting technology to produce this all-enclosing chassis. Each component subgroup is housed in a perfect little metal box with built-in wiring supports and cableways. The compartments are perfectly structured to make the system rugged while maximizing signal and minimizing invasive and cross-circuit noise. Here's the underside of the RF section with the audio amplifier removed. Just look at the excellent and rugged engineering of the tuning capacitor. You can see the whole Fuga 10 video by following the link. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more like this. Bye for now.